Hello, everybody. Welcome back to WWTF. Welcome to Fancy Game Show. Mike C. I'm Fred Watt. Hey, man. It's Switch time, man. So, what are we talking about with the Switch this time? We're now introducing a new project called the Nintendo Switch Project. Okay. Right? And uh, for those of you who don't know what the Nintendo Switch is, if you've been living under a rock for a couple of weeks, it's Nintendo's brand new system. Mm -hmm. Hybrid system. Yeah. The problem that we have with this system is that if you want to dock this system in multiple rooms, mm -hmm. you're going to have to buy multiple switches. Right. Because the dock that comes with the switch, you sit the you sit in the dock, and then it projects to your television. Mm -hmm. Well, they don't have third party people making this. Nintendo mm -hmm. is not licensing right. third party people. Mm -hmm. But I came up with a theory, right? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Very much so the theory of when I said about the Alienware Alpha. If the Alienware Alpha had an external GPU, mm -hmm. for those who don't know what a GPU is, it's a video card. If the Alienware Alpha had an external GPU, then it could compete with the big rigs. Okay. And I was right. right. There is, a, you are able to do a external GPU mm -hmm. with the version one, as well as the version two. Right. But you could do VR on it and all that. So, wow. you know, if you have a um, Alienware Alpha, go back to the tutorials, and uh, we even had some help on people to show us how to get it done mm -hmm. um, correctly. But with the Nintendo Switch, and Mike, I didn't discuss this with you before the show, because I said I wanted to keep it a surprise. It's all centered around this thing called the USB-C type connection, mm -hmm. right? When you put this in your dock, then from the USB-C type connection, it displays through HDMI to your TV. Right. So I'm thinking, well, if you just put a display port uh, I'm, I'm sorry, not the display port. If you put a HD, I'm sorry. If you put a USB C type port connection, mm -hmm. C type port to HDMI, it will project to the TV. Yeah, yeah, that sounds right. Yeah. So that way you don't have to create, I mean, or get a lot of docks, right? Mm -hmm. But the problem with that is the dock not only supplies the output of the video, it also supply. Um, it gives you two USB, no, three USB ports. Mm -hmm. Also, it gives you, um, that's it. Oh, the ability to power it on. Right. Which the C-Type to HDMI does not right. because it's only displaying now. Now, I haven't tested this theory yet, but I am going to get one. And later on, we'll do a follow-up. But <clears throat> what I was thinking, um, maybe if you got a dock mm -hmm. for this. Because USB-C type docks, you have Ethernet ports on it, mm -hmm. you have USB ports on it, so it can have multiple tasks function, okay. and it even have a display port on it, right? So if you were able to hook a C type USB dock to this, mm -hmm. um, we already know the USB 3.0 port in the back is for a Ethernet adapter right. so you can you know you don't have to go wireless mm -hmm. so i'm thinking maybe if you get a dock um you can find some way to charge it but you can also display it out mm -hmm. to the tv and you still have it um access to usb ports and you can plug a usb 3.0 to ethernet so you can have that connection because not everybody that has a Switch or have video game consoles have accessibility to Wi-Fi connection, especially if you're living up in the mountains. Right. You don't have internet. If you do have internet, you have something like DSL or dial-up. And DSL just won't cut it with these consoles no, anymore. No, not at all. So I'm thinking, if I'm right, you can put a display or, or USB-C type to HDMI, female, and then put it to your TV, and there goes your dock, right? But you just have to create a dock and then right. rig things up, and you got to know how to solder and all this other stuff, which I don't know how to do. I'm just a tech. That's why my I'm, I'm just thinking theories out. And with that being said, if you're able to do this, now I don't know if Nintendo thought about it, 
but with the USB C type, you can do an external GPU, an external graphics card. So you can increase that the way power. you can compete with the Xbox Scorpio and the new PlayStation. <laughs> because you already have the processing power and you already have the RAM. Mm -hmm. It's just the display. You know what I'm saying? Right. right. It's not it, it can't support uh 1080 native and it can't support 4K. Right. But if you got that external through C type, because there's already external GPUs that's using C type, even Alienware is using C type and the proprietary connection mm -hmm. uh to some of their laptops in order to use external GPUs. This may be a competitor to, to the, the big stuff. Gives mm. you something to think about, right? Some it does. All right. I'm excited. <laughs> so, you know, community, I, I, I want you to pass this on to all the Nintendo uh, uh, fans and the techies that you know. Let's make this one of our biggest episodes, like the Alienware Alpha project right, was. Right. We got a ton of hits on that. Right. Let's make this the second biggest video that we have, mm -hmm. right? And um, <clears throat> if somebody's able to do something successfully by creating a doc and having everything uh, working, and you can provide us proof with videos, no edits, mm -hmm. you know, straight, whatever, before Mario Kart 8, comes out we'll give you mario kart 8. Whoa. no shipping is it'll be all on us you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. so if you can create something with a USB-C type dock that enables you to uh to power this thing mm -hmm. to power the joy cons and be able to use a display port and be able to hook up uh uh ethernet you to usb port get on the internet do so, man. Pass yeah, this around. That's awesome. That is, yeah, that's a lot to think about, too, yeah. man. Wow. So Nintendo might actually really be smart. Nintendo may have a little trick up their sleeves, man. Mm -hmm. And if that, if if what I'm saying is true, I'll take back every negative thing that I see wow. about Nintendo. I'll take back everything. That, that's huge. That's huge. Wow. But it, it is possible. This thing could compete with what well with xbox uh one and ps4 as it stands right now mm -hmm. but to be able to get triple a games on here uh um call of duty and uh grand theft auto Dang. and then one step vr if they're able to do it man i'm telling you man this wow. would this will blow these consoles away man wow and, you know i was laying down one uh a couple of nights ago and i was I don't know why Nintendo popped it to my head, but I was like, C type. So <laughs> I hold up. No, I was in Walmart and I seen a USB C type to uh Ethernet. Mm -hmm. And then the switch just popped up in my mind. I was like, I wonder if that will work. But I didn't pick it up. But when I do go back to Walmart, I'm gonna pick it up and I'm gonna test it out. Okay. All right, man. Fred, full of surprises, bro. I didn't know this episode was going on right here. I thought we were just trying to do a dot. Huh? All right, good job. Keeping stuff interesting on the game show. That's what we do. Anything else to add for That's about it. All right, so like always, you guys can hit us up at thegamershowgmail.com. That's the Gamer Show with the name. Don't forget to head over to the Facebook store page. Don't forget to subscribe, become a Gamers Club member. And don't forget to hit us up. Uh, I said that. <laughs> don't well, do it. <laughs> and don't forget to be, uh, hit us up on V-Time. There we go. <laughs> All right, Twinsies. <laughs> Again. <laughs> Please remember to like, subscribe, and follow all our social media networks. Join our Steam Mars community and our website community where you can get some free stuff. And we'll see you next time on WWTF. What the fact? The Gamer Show. See you next time. Keep on watching. Thanks for tuning in.